In this video, we're going to have a look at long division. Before we have a look at long division, I'm going to remind you exactly what division is. Let's have a look at 12 divided by 4. This means we want to divide 12 into 4 equal groups. If you know your multiplication tables, you will know that 4 times 3 is equal to 12. This means that 12 divided by 4 is 3, which means that 12 can be broken up into 4 groups of 3 in each of those groups. But what will happen when we divide 12 by 5? If you once again go back to your multiplication tables, you will realize that there's no value that you can multiply by 5 to get an answer of 12. For this, we are going to make use of a new notation. Inside this notation, we will write the value that we want to divide and in front the value we want to divide by, or the divisor. And at the top, we will write our answer. Remember, we want to divide 12 up into 5 equal groups. Therefore, we need to decide what should we multiply by 5 to get 12 or something close to 12. If you know your multiplication tables, you will know that 10 is a multiple of 5 which is also close to 12. That is why I'm going to start off saying I can fit two 5s into 12. Now we need to determine how much of the original 12 is left. So we said that two groups of 5 will give us 10. And if I take the original 12 and take away the 10, I will be left with 2. So this means that 12 can be divided into 5 groups with 2 in each of those 5 groups. And then there will be 2 left, which we call the remainder. So there's a remainder of 2. So you can write that 12 divided by 5 is 2 with a remainder of 2. For long division, we're going to repeat this process of dividing, multiplying and subtracting a few times. In the first example, we need to divide 936 by 4 and for this we're going to make use of long division. So the 936 will be written on the inside and the 4 in front. Long division does not work the same as addition, subtraction and multiplication where we work from right to left. Here we will be working from left to right. So we are going to start off saying 9 divided by 4 which means we need to determine how many groups of 4 will give us 9 or a value close to 9. We know that 4 times 2 is 8, which is very close to 9, so I'm going to start off saying 9 divided by 4 is 2, which I write at the top. Now we need to determine what is remaining, the remainder. For that, we're going to start off by multiplying and saying 2 times 4 gives us 8, but instead of 8 we had 9, so when we subtract there's a remainder of 1. Now we can move to our second digit, which is the 3. But we cannot divide only the 3 by 4, because we just saw that at the hundreds there was a 1 left, so when we take both these values into account, we need to say 13 divided by 4. 13 divided by 4 will give me 3, because 3 multiplied by 4 is 12, which is very close to 13, and when I subtract the 13 minus 12, I'm once again left with a remainder of 1. Now we can use our last digit of 6, but again you need to remember that it should be combined with the remainder of 1, so we need to take 16 and divide that by 4. This, of course, is 4, and 4 multiplied by 4 will give me 16. 
So when I determine the remainder by saying 16 minus 16, I will get 0. This means that 936 divided by 4 is 234 with a remainder of 0. And because of the remainder of 0, we can say that 4 is a factor of 936. Question 2. We need to divide 2585 by 12. And still, it remains important to know your tables by heart. Because the value that we need to divide by is a two-digit number, I'm going to start off focusing on the first two digits of the value we need to divide. So we need to start off dividing 25 by 12. And if you look at the multiplication table, we can see that 24 is very close to our 25, which means we can divide it twice. Our next step will be multiplication, and 2 times 12 is 24. Lastly, we subtract, and 25 minus 24 gives a remainder of 1. Next, taking our third digit into account as well, we will have 18, which we need to divide by 12, and that can only be done once. Our next step is multiplication, and 1 times 12 is 12. And now we subtract to get the remainder, and that will be 6. Finally, taking our last digit into account, we have 65, which we need to divide by 12. The closest value to 65 in our multiplication table is 60, so we can say that 65 divided by 12 is 5. 5 times 12 is 60, and if I subtract, there will be a remainder of 5. 5 is smaller than 12, which means we are now done dividing, and we can say that 2000 585 divided by 12 is equal to 215 with a remainder of 5.